Hi, today we're going to learn Hell's Bells by ACDC in open G tuning, which is a low G. In the middle D, high string is an octave above G. Okay, I'll demonstrate it for you. Okay, so the tab should appear down there somewhere, and I'll take you through it. It's uh, open on the low string, seven on the top string, high string, five on the middle string, five on the high string, five on the middle string again, low string open, high string three, middle string three, low string open, high string five, Middle string five, low string open. And that sort of ends the first half. Now the second half is almost identical. Low string open. High string seven. Middle string five. High string five. Middle string five. Low string open. High string three. Middle string three. Low string open. High string five. And now we're going to pinch the two outside strings using our thumb and forefinger on three, two, and then open. So I'll demo that for you. Nothing really to it except uh, the second and third note. If you don't want to get too much of the slide sound, what you do is I rest my fingers on the strings and I hit the first the seven to slide at an angle, but my other string um, fingers muting on the left hand. And then on the right hand, my thumb's muting the middle string. So you just get that one note. Finger comes back down and mutes it. So it's silence over to the th fifth fret here. So. So it sounds like you actually fretted it and you don't have that slide sound down. But if you like the slide sound, nothing wrong with it. You can keep it in there. Now there's a variation just before it goes into the verse. Well, in the second half, I should demonstrate that for you. The open again. Seven on the high. Five on the middle. Five on the high. Five on the middle. Low open. Three. On the high, three on the middle. And here's where it's different. You go up to the 10th fret and play all three strings. And then you do your pinch again. Three. And then the next zero actually starts the verse. All right. I'll, I'll demonstrate that for you. Okay, the verse is pretty straightforward. Start with the uh, low string open again. Then you go five, three, five on the middle string. And then on the two outside strings, you'd go five, three, five. And then open, and then three, two. I'll demonstrate that. So you do that about four times. And, oh, actually, I think it might be a couple more than that. But anyway, you do it a few times. And then they go to the next chord, which is the fifth fret. And you just run into that from three to five. And use your pinch again. Not going to the open this time. Then the next chord is on the seventh fret. So we're sliding from five to seven. And then you go five, full chord, and then open full chord. That's the first time you do it. The second time is variation. Back to the tenth fret. 
and then you're into the song. So I'll do a, I'll demonstrate that, but I won't play everything to full length. I'll just do a short version. changing keys um, the key of hell's bells is a so you could try to tune your instrument up to a but that could be kind of dangerous you might break a string or strip a strip a tuner or whatever tuning down is always safe changing a string to a lower pitch great idea lots of opportunities there so if you want to play it in a what you can do is just use a capo surprisingly enough they work just like on a regular guitar Now I got a tuner on the end of mine here, so that's a handy thing. Because the action is higher on a slide guitar, especially here, you might find that you might want to change it back just a bit till it's right in tune. Right? But anyway, it works pretty good. And then you just add however many frets you added here, you just add that to your tab and uh, and you just carry on from there, you know. Nothing to it, really. Have fun with that. <laughs> 